okay, we're going to palpate the scapula. All right, the scapula is the shoulder blade, sits on the posterior superior lateral aspect of the ribs and glides over the ribs. Well, that's where we have that scapulothoracic articulation. Um, the glenoid fossa, we'll find out, is where the head of the humerus comes in to articulate the form of the glenohumeral joint. So what you're going to do is locate the acromial end of the clavicle and just move laterally. You're going to land on a flat ledge. Uh, you'll step off the clavicle uh, onto this flat ledge, which is the acromial uh, process of the scapula. Now, if you just follow that as it goes around posteriorly, it becomes the spine of the scapula. Moving all the way medially, it uh, ends at the medial border of the scapula. And at that junction of the spine of the scapula and the medial border of the scapula is where we find the root of the spine of the scapula. So from there, if you palpate along the medial border of the scapula, you can go all the way inferiorly to the inferior angle. From there, you can now palpate, palpate along the lateral border. Often you'll have to use your thumb because it's a lot more muscle and tissue over there you have to press through. So going back along the inferior um, lateral border of the scapula, back down to that inferior angle, we move along that medial border. We can go all the way up to the um, superior angle of the scapula. Right now, if we locate the spine of the scapula, if you move just slightly superiorly, you're going to come to the area where the supraspinous fossa is. Uh, we're not going to actually palpate the fossa because um, it's deep to the trapezius and the supraspinatus muscles. Moving inferiorly back to the spine of the scapula, move slightly inferiorly again, and we're going to go over where the uh, infraspinous fossa would be. And it's going to be covered by the infraspinatus muscle and partly by the trapezius. Um, one other um, thing that you could try to palpate is the subscapular fossa. We're only going to be able to get the uh, portions of it because it's deep, it's on the anterior surface of the scapula. So if you just cup the person's shoulder anteriorly and place your fingers along the medial border, have that person relax and passively lift the shoulder girdle, you can then palpate part of the subscapula fossa. You can go along the medial uh, part of the scapula and partly along the lateral portion to try to get under that scapula where the subscapula fossa is. Um, now, one other thing we're going to palpate is the coracoid process. So, with the coracoid process, you're going to go find the chromium of the uh, scapula and just move about a half an inch or so and there'll be a little bony knob that you'll be able to palpate there. You have to be careful because it's uh, not a lot of tissue covering and it can be sensitive uh, on uh, people. This is the coracoid process. 